gentlemen, and welcome to NXT Afterburn 6. My name is Connor Whitty. We are back in Full Sail University. As always, we got a hell of a card. Let's, let's take it to Mr. Regal. So there you go, those are the two marquee matches tonight. First, an over-the-top rope elimination match. Ember Moon, Dakota Kai, Piper Devin, and Sarah Logan. Those four women will do battle, and the only way to win is to throw all three of the other opponents over the top rope. Both feet must touch the floor. Uh, and the winner will face the winner of the other Fatal 4-Way, which is Pinfall and Submission Only. Uh, eliminations still count, so the only way to win this one is to pin or submit all three of your opponents. The winners of the two Fatal 4-Ways will face each other at NXT TakeOver Inception for the NXT Women's Championship. This Pinfall and Submission Only Fatal 4-Way will consist of Kyrie Sane, Candice LeRae, Tony Storm, and Ruby Riot. So what a hell of an announcement by Mr. Regal. Two Fatal 4-Ways, one over the top rope, one uh, pinfall and submission. The winning, the two winners of those Fatal 4-Ways face each other for the NXT Women's title at TakeOver. The one contest is set for one ball. Introduce it first, from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing 265 pounds, Mojo Raleigh! Well, here we go, Mojo Raleigh, still looking for the first win! Uh, Mojo is, uh, oh boy, just, oh boy, you know, uh, we get to a stage where eventually, you know, it, it gets a little ridiculous. Mojo Raleigh just has not been, it hasn't been clicking. For uh, Mojo Raleigh, just has not been clicking. It uh, hasn't been really working out for him. No matter how hard he tries. Mojo Raleigh, you know, he's very much at the losing end, but this? And his opponent from Portland, Maine, weighing in at 244 pounds, Johnny Curtis. This guy is very interesting, Johnny Curtis. Uh, the former Fondango, he's been, he's also been on the losing end. It, for most of his career, he's been, uh, you know, he came in, uh, there was a lot of hype around Fandango when he first came in. Uh, that's something I really feel like we need to stress is there's been a lot of, there was a lot of hype for Fandango coming in. And he started off good, but then things kind of went downhill real fast for uh, poor Fandango. He won against uh, Darren Young, Season 3, then uh, the losses piled up, Gold Dust. John Morrison, Big E, Chris Jericho, and then uh, eventually Kane, and then the final straw was Mark Henry before he 
went to uh, NXT. He reevaluated himself. He went, I want to start fresh. And that didn't really uh, go as well as he hoped for. A loss to, oh, to uh, Cassius Ono. Started off his NXT run. A loss to Cassius Ono before Ono's, before they revealed Ono is set to face Minoru Suzuki at TakeOver. Mojo Rawley, though, just going absolutely, oh, good lord. Mojo Rawley, these, neither of these two are really prioritize the wind in the winning column. They want to, to turn things around and they're hoping to use the other to get that started. And Mojo Raleigh, this is a, this is a, this is an aggression from him I'm not used to. You know, usually Mojo Raleigh, oh, hang on, oh, a pounce. That is a familiar Mojo move. And, uh, Mojo Raleigh is very energetic, usually all hyped up, but uh, I'm not used to seeing him so aggressive, so vicious. Almost brutal in a way, but oh, bionic elbow by Johnny Curtis. Homage to uh, the late great American dream, Dusty Rhodes. No. Johnny Curtis still trying to get things going. Oh, insecurity. Very nicely done. Johnny Curtis has uh, started over. You know, he's relearned a lot of things. He's unlearned a lot. Oh, Johnny Curtis has just been working, uh, you know, to uh, change, change uh, his style, to change his fortunes. Oh, and that's a good start right there. Kick to the face. Hello, Ron. Oh, well, that very much, uh, well, that, that pretty much, that very much, oh, wait a minute, I was about to say, bends the rules a little, now it's just, oh, well, that's what you get, I suppose, he tried to taunt Mojo Raleigh, but Mojo Raleigh came at him faster than he was expecting. Mojo... Power slam, Mojo Raleigh in control here. Almost a three, Mojo Raleigh shocked that this, that tilt to world power slam didn't do the job. Mojo Raleigh, Johnny Curtis has not been, uh, no, it, it's not been clicking. He hasn't gotten a consistency going in this matchup. Mojo Raleigh, more aggressive than I've ever seen him. Mojo, discus punch, no! Countered by Curtis, forearm. Series of forearms, couple jabs. Some more jabs, wow! Johnny Curtis finally getting something going. What's he doing here? Johnny Curtis. Kick to the ribs. Oh! Ho -ho! Johnny Curtis caught him into a gut buster. Yeah, Johnny Curtis. Oh! Well, he, he used to call that the last dance. But I'm not sure what he calls it now. All I know is he's not intending to end it with that. He wants to show off the fruits of his labor. Mojo's on the top. Curtis is on the top. What the hell is this? Ooh, a superplex. Nicely done. Curtis rolls through. Falcon Arrow. And that's a wrap, that's it. Johnny Curtis, okay. So showing off some new moves there, nicely done. The winner of the match, Johnny Curtis.
Johnny Curtis with the victory here. All right. I don't think a lot of people were expecting that to be what Johnny Curtis busts out to end the match. Very impressive move by Curtis. I think a lot of people are impressed with Johnny Curtis, but one one man who is not in a good mood is Drake Maverick entering Mr. Regal's office. Well, EC3 issued an open challenge at NXT episode 15. Juice Robinson caught him. You know, caught him with a victory. Drake's not happy about it. Whoa! Well, EC3 was a uh, Juice Robinson accepted EC3's open challenge on uh, NXT episode 15. Wait a minute, Bef before I go on about that, that's Buddy Murphy. What the hell is he doing here? I I this was not on my cards. It was not on my cards that he was supposed to be here. Uh, we haven't seen Buddy Murphy since what happened after NXT episode 14 went off the air. Tyler Bay had an incredible match with uh, Adrian Neville for the Cruiserweight title. But after the match, Buddy Murphy attacked both Bay and Bates coach Trent Seven. And, and uh, this crowd hasn't forgotten. Folsom has not forgotten what Buddy Murphy did. And they're in no mood to see him. This crowd is not too happy to see Buddy Murphy. I don't know what the hell he's here for. I guess he's gonna explain his actions. I, I, good. I want an explanation. I wanna know what the hell he did. What he did for. Oh, <laughs> this crowd is not letting him speak. This crowd not letting him speak. Wait, 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 he's leaving. Wait, wait. He's just leaving. I think it was gonna try and explain what the hell. I think it was gonna try and explain what he did, his actions, but I guess not. He, he just up and left. Well, uh, as I was saying before that, well, up next we have our the first of our women's matches, uh, over the top rope battle royal. Both we have to touch the floor. I know I keep saying that, but you know that's gonna be the difference between that and uh, the main event. But as I was saying, uh, EC3 issued an open challenge uh, for NXT episode 15. Juice Robinson accepted it. Uh, Juice Robinson scored an upset win. EC3 thought he was going to get a count out. But Juice Robinson came in at the last second. Hit a left hand of God. Pulp friction. That was all she wrote. Juice picked up the win and EC3 is not happy. And he's gonna face Kota Ibushi in the next episode 15, 16. The following contest is an over the top rope fatal four way match where the winner will advance into the inaugural NXT Women's Championship match at NXT TakeOver Inception. Introducing first from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 120 pounds, Amber Moon. There's a lot to uh, NXT 16 already. Of course, we also found out Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly are going to face the debuting Otis Dozovic and Tucker Knight Heavy Machinery. And we're, well, let's see if one of these women are going to be part of NXT Episode 16. And if so, two of them are going to come walk in as 
the uh, contenders for the NXT Women's title. And their opponents first, from Ayrshire, Scotland, weighing in at 209 pounds, Piper Nevin! Piper Nevin, uh, you know, she's the biggest and the baddest of uh, the women in here. She has the largest stature, and she's going to use that to her advantage. You gotta think, because Piper Nevin, you know, uh, you know, but Piper Nevin, uh, she has, a, it's like Nia Jax almost. She, there's not a shame in being the biggest in the match. There's an advantage to it, and women like Piper Nevin and Nia Jax, they are aware of that. They use that to their advantage. Piper Nevin, one of the toughest women that uh, Scotland has ever produced. Of course, Ember Moon is not pushover, and neither is this woman. Next, from Auckland, New Zealand, Moving at 112 pounds, the Dakota The captain of Team Kick. There has to be a lot of Dakota Kai's mind because the last time we saw her, uh, she, you know, it was uh, a few NXT episodes ago, uh, Ruby Riot kicked the absolute hell out of Tony Storm, uh, and Dakota Kai was caught off guard by that. Dakota Kai. Wasn't expecting Ruby Riot to just all of a sudden come in and kick Candice LeRae. And she tried to get answers, but to no avail. So that has to be running through her mind that her friend, that her best friend, is is different. And this also has to be running through Dakota's mind. Seeing this beast again! And the last opponent from the ruins of civilization, weighing in at 139 pounds, the Viking goddess, Sarah Logan. The Viking goddess. Apt way to describe her. Sarah Logan has been running through anyone put in front of her. Piper Nevin is very familiar with Sarah Logan. And of course, on the very first NXT Afterbird, she dominated Ruby Riot like like nobody had dominated her before. Phrasing. <laughs> Apologies. But you know, it's Sarah Logan is a monster unlike anything I've ever seen. And of course, we just saw uh, on United that Karma has arrived to WEDF, so who knows, maybe that could be a potential match. Sarah Logan and Karma, you never know. CM Punk's always scouting. Wait, 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 whoa! Oh! I think these women realize that Sarah Logan is the biggest threat in the matchup. Of course, while it is over the top rope, you, that's still a smart strategy to get the biggest threat of the match out of there immediately. In fact, due to it being over the top rope, it might be a little easier. You just have to work together, force her over the top rope onto the floor. And that seems to be the strategy to get Sarah Logan out of the match first. And that is a smart strategy by these three women. Two of them have directly felt the wrath of Sarah Logan before, so they know what they gotta do. Ember Moon's the only one that hasn't really had any interactions with Sarah Logan. And that is about to change. Ember! Ember! Oh, she couldn't get Piper Nevin out of the ring. N not Piper Nevin, uh, Sarah Logan. Oh, speaking of Piper Nevin, she goes for a chop. 
Sarah Logan, Sarah Logan fighting them off. Sarah Logan's fighting them off. Oh, and Ember Moon, Ember Moon and Piper Devin are both trying to break this up. Just like Ruby Riot, just like Ruby Riot and Dakota Kai went through. Oh! Sarah Logan's fighting them all off. The numbers are not on her side. And oh, a knee to the face of Piper Nevin. And oh, gut buster to Piper Nevin. Kind of went for a kick. Oh, there, that's how she got it. That's how she got it. Oh. The series of kicks, the senton, Ember, the elbow. These three women are teaming up on Sarah Logan. They gotta get the biggest threat out. I agree with this strategy. And Dakota Kai practically set Piper up for that. These three are teaming together. Oh, wait, 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 Mitch, no. That looked like the setup for her Michinoku driver. Oh. Oh my lord! Again, just the, the more power. This is a monster unlike anything I have ever seen! She is fighting off three women, including Piper Nevin and Ember Moon. She is fighting all three of these women off. Look at this! Piper is going down! Piper is going down! And oh, Dakota Kai saved Piper Nevin. I think she realizes, due to Piper being the biggest of the match, this might be an advantage for them. Wait a minute. Oh, missed the mark. Oh! Where Ember missed Dakota landed. Ember Moon had to sacrifice her knee there. Leg drop. They again. This is. They're really trying to get. Oh wait, 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 wait! Michinoku driver. That's what put away Ruby Riot. That is Ember Moon screaming. Battle cry. These women are uh, celebrating. Oh, a little too soon. Has been eliminated. Piper Nevin built ahead of steam and it backfired. Oh no! Now we're down to three. And Sarah Logan has alleviated the numbers just a bit, but she has also gotten the biggest woman of the match out and that has to be good for us sarah logan but the kicks of the other the kicks of the other two are not going to make this any easier the moon's on the top and when she's on the top wait a minute wait a minute Ember Moon, Eclipse, oh no! She just hit Dakota Kai! I think Ember was, Ember was aiming for Sarah Logan, accidentally hit Dakota Kai with the Eclipse. Now Sarah Logan took advantage! Dakota Kai has been eliminated. And just like that, the plan unravels. The plan comes apart. Sarah Logan has just taken out the numbers! And now she just might head to take over! My god! Sarah Logan survived up to this point! But Ember Moon is not an easy final challenge! Oh my god! But it might be a challenge she can very well conquer!
Oh, forearm by Ember Moon. Super kick. Misses. Oh, a headbutt to the back of the skull. A headbutt to the chest. God. So Logan. Nido. And Ember Moon. Ember Moon. Now Ember Moon's in the role of Survivor. Fisherman Buster. Ember Moon's just trying to survive this. Oh, a super kick. What about it, Ember Moon? Ember Moon drops the knee. Ember Moon might have a chance to survive this. She might have a chance to win this. Ember Moon! Ember Moon! On the top! There's no Dakota Kai! This is it! Eclipse! Eclipse! The crowd's lighting up! They realize Ember Moon's in reach! Ember Moon's in reach! Ember Moon's in reach! She's done it! Ember Moon did it! Ember Moon did it! Ladies and gentlemen, our world next. And advancing on to NXT TakeOver Inception, Ember Wow, Ember Moon is going to take over, has won the Over the Top Rope Battle Royal. But the question is, who is she going to face? We're about to find that out. And it is... Hmm. Following contest is your main event of the evening, and it is a fatal four-way elimination match where the winner will face Ember Moon at NXT Takeover Inception for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing first from Riverside, California, weighing 110 pounds, Candice Murray. I need to rest my voice a bit. That was a hell of an ending to our last match. But we lead him perfectly to the next one. And then this is in her bonus first from Queensland, Australia. Weighing 143 pounds, Tony Storm! Tony Storm, uh, you know, Tony Storm, you know, there's a lot of momentum on her side. Uh, you know, there's a lot that Tony Storm has to offer, I feel. Uh, I shouldn't say a lot of momentum, though, because, uh, last time we saw Tony Storm, things didn't really go her way, but... Sonya Deville had to use brass knuckles to beat Tony Storm. Really, Candice LeRae is the one heading into this with the most momentum after a victory over Nikki Cross in NXT 15. But this is the controversial one. Next, from Lafayette, Indiana, weighing in at 222 pounds, Ruby Warrior. This woman is controversy personified. Ruby Riot. Uh, oh boy. Ruby Riot has not made a lot of friends recently. And I, I say that even with, you know, Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai really was her best friend. And now, now their relationship is fractured. After what 
Tony did to, uh, after what Ruby did to, uh... And the last opponent from Yamaguchi, Japan, weighing in at 115 pounds, she is the Pirate Princess, Kyrie Sane! Ruby's relationship with, uh, Dakota was fractured after what she did to Candice LeRae. I don't know if I said she did it to Tony Storm or not earlier in the show. I don't remember. But... She did it. She kicked the hell out of Candice LeRae. And that kind of fractured the dynamic with her and Dakota Kai. And But this is a woman kind of unbound by any of that. Uh, you know, not, you know, Kyrie Sane coming in fresh. Kyrie Sane coming in clear-minded. We haven't seen her in a bit, but she's been training. She's been preparing for a moment just like this, for an opportunity just like this. All four of these women are ready. All four of these women are ready. All four of these women are prepared. And all these four of these women are decorated. You know, uh, Kyrie Sane, former uh, Wonder of Stardom champion, former World of Stardom champion. She's used to being at the top of, you know, women's wrestling. And so too is Tony Storm. Wait, 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 wait. Candice Ray rolls up. Ruby Riot already. Ruby Riot has been eliminated. We have our first elimination already. Wow. And oh, good lord. This crowd's electric. Barely had time to think before someone was eliminated. And it was Ruby Riot. Wow! Oh, Candice LeRae and Tony Storm have history. These two faced off with each other a while back. It was NXT episode uh, 10 that these two women had an incredible match. Now Kyrie Sane is added to the mix. This is gonna be good. We were all prepared for Ruby Riot to be in it, but she was, she got eliminated in like mere seconds by a Candice LeRae against Tardabout as fair play. Revenge is a, a dish best served cold. What's uh, Tell me what I'm gonna do here. Candice LeRae, I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my blondes here. Ooh. Ooh. Well, uh, Candice LeRae didn't really do what I think she wanted to do. And, oh! Well, I think, uh, Kyro's gonna, gonna set up for something! Oh! Well, that super suplex to the outside hurt both women. Candice LeRae and letting it happen. She's picking her opportunity. That's smart. Can't wait. Candice LeRae off the top of the rope like a Tony Storm. And Candice LeRae. Wait a minute. Candice LeRae. Her Karana to Kyrie Sane. And drop kick to Tony Storm! Pyre and it's the right! I didn't get rid of that break! Out of the right goes Tony Storm! Kyrie Sane rolls her up! Kyrie Sane with the roll up! One! Two! No! Candice LeRae saves her chances of a takeover match with Ember Moon! Kyrie slams her down. Drop kick. And this is high stakes. This is all about NXT TakeOver. And the card for NXT TakeOver Inception already stacked. Yeah. 
Oh, my lord, these women are just fighting. This is just a fight. They're all, and they're all fighting to get a spot at NXT TakeOver Inception. The card's already stacked. Cash Soto versus Minoru Suzuki. Rey Mysterio versus Ricochet. And Bobby Roode versus Aleister Black for the NXT Championship. Now, one of these three women will face Ember Moon to determine the first ever NXT Women's Champion, Tony Storm with a drop kick through the ropes. As cliche as this is, these women are fighting to leave their legacies, to make history. And one of these women will join Ember Moon in that history-making battle. The question is, who is it gonna be? PK by Tony Storm. No. Candice LeRae. Oh! Turn Tony around, but Tony saw it coming. Is she's keeping Candice LeRae out of the match, focusing on Kyrie Sane. That's smart. You don't want to get the overwhelming numbers here. Now, oh! Well, Tony was gonna do something to Candice, but Candice pulled down the ropes, broke the momentum. My God! Crossbody from the rope. Candice LeRae just agile as all hell. Candice LeRae throwing caution to the wind. But Kyrie Sane throws Candice LeRae off the ropes. Kyrie Sane does not want you to counter out. Out of the ring goes Tony. Now Candice. Candice in a bad spot! Oh! Blockbuster by Kyrie Sane! Kyrie Sane hooks a leg at Candice LeRae! Cover one! Only a one! Candice LeRae kicks out! Candice LeRae still has fight left in her! Oh! A stomp! Oh, wait, 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 look at, look at, look at Tony! Tony! And Tony! Dropping Kyrie Sane onto the floor, taking her out of the match! And now she's gonna capitalize and suplexes Candice LeRae. Candice recovering as Tony Storm and Kyrie Sane do battle. Oh, oh, oh! A lot of chops, and of course, these two women, uh, Tony Storm and Kyrie Sane, actually have history. They battled each other to a 15-minute time limit draw and stardom. But Candice LeRae might just spoil that rematch. Oh. oh. New boots by uh, Candice LeRae, Candice, Candice, oh, leg drop. Candice LeRae, one of the toughest women in the world. Oh, no. Candice LeRae, now she's climbing the top, climbing the top rope, splash, no, Tony had the knees up. Both these women are incredibly tough. Both these women have a heart, have determination, have the will to win, but so does Kyrie Sane. What is Kyrie doing here? Kyrie Sane. Oh, spear! And a spear! She speared both women! Oh, drop kick to Candice LeRae. And now, making sure Tony stays in position for the drop kick. Kyrie Sane 
shit out of control. Beardo! Tony Cattle with the DDT. Tony Storm. Hurricanrana. Wow. These three women are going at it. A German. And now. Candace gonna stretch out Kyrie. Tony letting it happen. Tony realizes if Candace gets an elimination, then she's still in it. Tony's letting it happen. And oh, a hot shot there by uh, Kyrie. Kyrie with a spear. And oh, Tony rolls out of the ring before. Kyrie can capitalize, but now it's just her and Candace LeRae speared on Candace. She spears Candace right out of her damn boots. Referee, referee took his sweet ass time counting the pin. That might have cost Kyrie an elimination. Sliding elbow. And now Kyrie, Kyrie is on the top rope. Kyrie saying on the top rope is never good. Oh, and oh my God! Tony just kicked Kyrie from the top rope to the floor. My God! Tony Storm taking Kyrie out of the match, if only for a little bit, and now. Oh! Almost like a Destino there. Oh, wait a minute. I think she saw Kyrie Sane forcing herself up to her feet. Tony wants to deal with Kyrie as little as possible. Now, German suplex bridges. One, two, three, no! My God! This crowd standing up and roaring for these women. This, oh my God. This is the potential of women's wrestling. This is the future of women's wrestling. This is WEDF NXT. I'm electric, this crowd is electric. These two women throwing everything they have. These three, these three women throwing everything they have. And now, Candice LeRae. Oh, Tony Storm's out of a good spot here. Candice LeRae, Miss LeRae's wild ride. Miss LeRae's wild ride. But Tony rolls out of the way. Tony rolls out of the ring. Kyrie! Kyrie Zane! Where the hell did she come from? It's just like that! Where the hell did Candace Kyrie Zane come from? Eliminated. Where the hell did she come from? Candace Array hit Mr. Array's wild ride! Tony Storm rolled to the floor! And Kyrie Zane took advantage! Hit a flash! Insane elbow! And now we're down to the final two! Kyrie Sane versus Tony Storm! My God! Kyrie! 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 Insane elbow! Tony Storm avoids it! Rolls her up! Tony's going to take over! Tony's going to take over! No, she's not! Not yet at least! My God, what a match! And this is why the NXT Women's Championship was a high priority because NXT has some of the best women's wrestlers on God's green earth! And these three... Oh, and where were we? Destino! Kyrie stayed up at the ropes! Tony was too close to the ropes and that might have saved 
Oh my god, that might have saved Tony Storm right there. If that hit closer to the middle of the ring, that might have been three. Oh, DDT, what do these two women have left? After an incredible triple threat with Candice LeRae. And of course, you can't count out Ruby Riot, but Ruby Riot was eliminated in the first three seconds of the match. And how does that have to affect the mentality. Ruby Riot, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Tony, Tony, Tony Storm with a suicide dive. Cindy Kyrie crashing into the guardrail. Listen to this crowd. I agree with them. This is awesome. Tiger Suplex Bridge. No. What is it gonna take? What is it gonna take? Tony Storm has to be asking herself the same question. But I think, hold on. Oh, a spear. I think deep down in her soul, Tony Storm knows the answer. She's gonna have to use one of the variations, a Storm Zero. Kyrie Sane, forearm. Another forearm. Strike after strike after strike. One of these two women are gonna have to hit their big move. Oh my god! Whoever can hit their big move first has to be the one that will go to NXT TakeOver. Wait, wait! The anchor! Anchor! Kyrie Sane locks in the anchor! Tony Storm's trapped! Tony Storm nowhere near the ropes! Tony Storm's nowhere near the ropes! And she's gonna have to tap! And Tony Storm taps! Tony Storm taps! Kyrie's going to take over! Kyrie's going to take over! Kyrie Sane going to NXT TakeOver Inception! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and going on to NXT TakeOver Inception, Kyrie Sane! So we know our, ne our, our next match confirmed for NXT TakeOver Inception! The first ever NXT Women's Championship match! Ember Moon versus Kyrie Sane! At NXT TakeOver! That's gonna be a hell of a match! Just like this has been a hell of a match! Just like the Battle Royal was a hell of a match! Oh, speaking of Ember Moon! Speaking of Ember Moon! Guess she's here to pay her opponent to visit! I'm just gonna let this one play out. This is your NXT Women's Championship match. These are the two women that'll make history at NXT TakeOver Inception. These are the two women that will fight to define and cement their legacies at NXT TakeOver Inception for the women's title. Kyrie Sane, Ember Moon, only one can be first. What a show! I've been Connor Winnie! Until next time!